The Faros system is extremely scalable. It can be scaled in two ways, regardless of the controller type. Firstly, you can add remote devices to a controller to add IO ports. And, secondly, you can link multiple controllers together to act as one. You can do both simultaneously, with the whole range of controllers, and remote devices, mixed in any configuration. The products used in your system are managed on the network tab. Let's start by adding a remote device to a controller. Select the controller, and choose to add a new remote device. Select the type, and set an identification number. You can now adjust the remote device properties. These vary for each remote device. Connecting RIA hardware is straightforward. Simply connect the relevant inputs and outputs. Then use a power over Ethernet cable to power it, and link it to your network. Upon receiving power, the LED in the Faros logo will light up, and the other LEDs will then cycle. After a few seconds, the RIA will appear in Designer. In the Network tab, the rows will be one of four colors. White for controllers in your project. Light gray for remote devices in your project. Dark gray for any item found on the network, but not used in the project. Blue for the currently selected item. You can configure the IP address, and upload firmware, in a similar way as with the controllers. This is shown in our hardware video. Set the RIA's rotary wheel to the correct number for identification. Once set, you can see the remote device associates with the remote device in the project automatically. This method allows you to set multiple RIOs to the same number, to clone behavior. If you have more than 15 remote devices, or prefer to associate manually, set the RIO thumb wheel to M. If you set an identification number above 15, you can link it to the serial number of the remote device. Now let's add an additional controller to the project. This is as simple as using the new controller button, and selecting the controller type. If required, you can change the type used in the properties area. By adding a new controller, you have also added more IO ports. These can all be accessed and programmed. You can configure the interfaces for each controller and remote device independently, so they can behave differently within the same project. Adding and associating a new touch device is very similar as doing so with a controller. Note that remote devices belong to a controller. Ensure you have the logical controller selected before you add a remote device, or change it under remote device properties if you need to adjust it. If you want to identify a physical controller or remote device from the software, you can use the beacon function. This will make the LEDs on the controller or remote device flash, making it easy to correctly identify it in designer software. Let's go to the trigger tab, and learn how to set triggers from different controllers and remote devices. If you have a single controller with remote devices, we can simply select a trigger, select the relevant device, and ID it. We can further configure this trigger as required. Trigger conditions which use remote device statuses can be set in a similar way. When using multiple controllers, you might want a specific controller to fire the trigger. If so, click, Enable Trigger Controller Edit. This gives you the option to select the specific controller for the trigger. Faros supports any trigger from any controller, to create any action on any controller. This example shows that a specific message on the serial port of controller 2, will start timeline 3, and send another serial message via controller 1. Designer makes scaling your project easy. A project with multiple controllers can control them seamlessly together as one. You will need to patch the specific fixtures to each relevant controller. But all groups, timelines, scenes, and triggers can span any selection of fixtures, regardless of the controller they are patched on. You don't need to worry about zoning or synchronization, as the Faros engine works across all controllers, with the lighting connected locally to each one. This makes Faros extremely flexible. This video has covered all the basics to scale a system with multiple controllers and remote devices. See the following videos to get started with VLC and Delhi.